Hey guys, this is John from Sonic Drive Studio. Welcome to episode 4 of the drum mixing series. In episode 1 we talked about the David Bendeth expansion for Stephen Slade drums. In episode 2 we talked about the Terry Date expansion. In episode 3 we talked about the Stephen Slade 4 deluxe samples, which are more raw. And in this episode we're going to take a look at the Blackbird expansion, which is an amazing pack. Before we do that, please hit subscribe and follow us on facebook.com slash sonicdrivestudio. We reached 1000 subscribers today, I'm very proud of that. Thank you all for watching and thanks for coming back to this channel and thanks for the support. We're gonna do our best to create more content for you in the coming weeks, months or even years hopefully. So thank you so much. Alright, so we have some Blackbird samples loaded up here. Now there are a lot of samples to choose from as you can see here. A lot of kicks, a lot of snares, a lot of toms, some hats, one ride and four crashes. They're all really high quality and they are very different to each other. So what I decided to do just as in my other videos is just create a kind of pop rock sound for you guys. And I had to choose some samples of course, so uh, these are the ones I chose. I like those for a tight rock sound. Maybe a bit inspired by bands such as Foo Fighters. Let's take a listen to this kit in action with all the processing. Here we go. Cool, great sounding kit here. So maybe it's interesting to also listen to this kit with all the processing off. Here we go. So it does sound very tight. And let's listen to a small section again with processing. Okay, again, uh, quite a big difference. The drums by themselves without processing already sound really good, but they do sound a bit raw, so they take processing very well, which is a great feature in my opinion. Before we go to the single channels, I'd like to show you one thing in the drum sampler itself. So over here we have the mixer. And for the kick and snare channels, I did turn down the kick and snare effects channels. I also turned down the room for the kick drum. This tends to make the kick drum a bit tighter. Let's take a look at the kick drum. I'm going to play you a small part soloed. Cool, that's a great punchy kick sound. And then without processing. So quite a big difference there. Let's take a look at the processing. So just as in my other videos, I have the trimmer and the virtual preamp collection set up and virtual tape machines. This is on all the channels. Let's open our second instance of the virtual mix rack. For the EQing, I'm using the FGN here, boosting some high shelf, also boosting some 3.2K for adding snap and presence to the kick, and we're cutting some low mids at about 450 hertz. Let's do a quick AB. So with the EQ on, the kick sounds a bit more present and less boxy or boomy in the low mids. And again, the Monster. This one can enhance your kick drum greatly, so I highly recommend trying this one. I always start off with the big kick preset and tweak it a bit from there. Let's also AB this one really quickly. So 
Also with the monster on, the kick drum sounds way bigger. It's great for adding some sustain and clarity actually. So try this one, definitely. And finally in this chain we have the Aosis Air EQ. This is here to remove a clicky sound that the kick drum had. And I didn't like that in the context of the mix, so I had to cut this away. The Air EQ is a great plugin for this. Let's AB this one. So this one cleans that area up quite nicely. That's all for the kick drum. Now let's head over to the snare drum. Virtual mix rack with the virtual preamp collection and virtual tape machines again. And again, of course, the virtual mix rack. So again, I'm using the high and low lift for the snare. Great, great plugin. I can't live without it, basically, especially for drums. We can do an AB here so you can hear how magnificent this little plugin is. Here we go. Yeah, so this plugin is great for adding some clarity and bottom to your snare. Then next up we have FGS, just removing some low mids here. I'll demonstrate what this is doing. So I'm just using it to get rid of some boominess in that area. And then next up we have FG401 setup. This one is compressing the snare a little bit. Let's listen and AB. So it's just adding some nice punch. I started off with the snare punch preset and tweaked from there. And finally, we have the air module loaded up. This one is adding some sizzle and presence to the snare. Let's do a quick AB. Also a brilliant little module. And we're also sending the snare to a reverb channel. On that channel, we have Verb Suite Classic set up. In my previous videos, I had the LX480 plugin set up, but I switched it out for this one for the new great Verb Suite Classics plugin. I love this one. So these are the settings that I'm using. Let's do a quick AB. So it's adding some impact and size to the snare. I love how this sounds. Let's listen to a small section of the snare soloed with processing. And now without processing. Yeah, so that processing has a huge impact on the sound of the snare. Let's go over to the toms. Let's listen to them soloed with processing first. And now without processing. So with the processing on, they have more clarity and they sound less boxy and boomy in the low mids. What are we doing here? So what we're doing first is boosting some high end with a high shelf at about 7.5k. We're cutting out some low mids at about 520 hertz. And we're also cutting out some low end under about 50 hertz. We can AB this one really quickly. adding some clarity and removing some unwanted low mids. Then next up again we're using the air module. 
Again, for adding some clarity and nice crispy high end to the toms. Let's do an AB. I love what that's adding. And just as with the kick, I've loaded up the monster here. Let's do an AB. With the monster on, the toms really jump out of the speaker more. Now on the hi-hat, I'm basically doing nothing except for removing some low end and mids with the low filter. It's going all the way up to 500 hertz. Now let's go to the overheads. Let's take a listen with processing. And without processing. Let's see what I'm doing there. First up, with FGN, I'm cutting out some highs, which makes them a little less harsh. I love the high shelf on the FGN for this. Then we're using the drum overhead preset on the Monster. And right after that, we have FG401 set up as well. This one is basically giving them a bit more attitude. And this one is on here to keep the dynamics in check. Let's go over to the room channel and listen to them soloed with processing. And now without processing. Now those are some great sounding room mics. Let's take a listen to the kit without the room mics and the reverb. So you can really hear what that's adding to the overall drum sound. I really like how punchy that sounds though. So you don't always have to use your room channels, of course. I just like to use them a lot. And with the room on again. Yeah, so they have a great impact on the overall drum sound. They give them more space, dimension, and power. So let's take a look at the processing here. So we're using FGN here to remove some high end to make it less harsh. And we're also cutting out some lows under about 60 Hertz. Then next up, we have the monster set up. And now I've said this in the other videos, but the monster is great for enhancing your drum room sounds. That's all I'm doing on the single channels, basically. Now, finally, let's go over the drum group settings really quickly. I did show this in the previous videos, but this has a huge impact on the overall drum sound as well. Let's listen to a small section with the drum group plugins on. Here we go. And hear what happens when I turn them off. And again, I'm using the monster here. Uh, I have the mix set at 15%. I'm using the drum group smasher preset, and I usually just work from there and tweak it a little bit. And I have FG Gray set up here as well. This is only doing about one dB of gain reduction, but it makes a huge difference for the sound. Okay guys, that's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And remember that you can also follow us on facebook.com slash sonicdrivestudio. Thanks guys, see you in the next episode.